Hey, Shalom, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachah Yahweh Yahweh's the Heavenly Father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world annually calls God. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world annually calls Jesus Christ. And the Rachah is the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of Truth. It's at 144 right now. I call Lord Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, Double honest to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruit of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. So I uh, just want to get into this lesson, you know, Lord willing to be edifying unto the elect. Um, you know, I was just thinking about this uh, phrase right here, okay, a book of remembrance, all right, and, and that book of remembrance is what? The scriptures, all right, and this uh, lets you know that the, the Holy Bible is really only meant for one people, okay? So it's really only meant for uh, the Israelites, all right? And and specifically uh, in this time, all right, the remnant of Israel, which is uh, considered the elect, all right, the chosen of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right? Because it's through the, the Holy Scriptures, all right, which is, um, you know, how the Comforter sups with us, are we put into remembrance? All right. So you see these other nations of people, they, they are not put into remembrance of who they are. All right. They were in their their identity, uh, you know, even though it was stripped from them, it was taken from them because the, the deceiver, the serpent, went about the, the world and deceived the nations, as spoken of in Revelation 20th chapter. It was a curse, okay, that we were going to, uh, you know, uh, forget, you know, our power. Okay, and in turn forget who we who we are, and which would lead us into our captivity, our destruct, our you know our uh, you know being desolate. Okay, our you know land being um, stripped from us, our language being stripped from us, our heritage. Okay, our power. Okay, but the Lord, as the Scripture tells you, tells us that the Lord would have mercy on Jacob and yet choose Israel. Therefore, He gave us a book of remembrance. So that we can remember ourselves in these last days, all right. And this is the main uh, thing. Okay, this is goes into the well, the book of Ezekiel, the thirty seventh chapter, that exceeding and great army, you know, standing up. This is the main thing that you see happening right now, which these uh, you know, these heathens, starting with Esau, Edom, all right, the the uh, the elites, okay, of this world, the god of this world. This is the main thing that they did not want to take place is us remembering ourselves because if we remember ourselves we do what we now are going to remember who our power the heavenly father yahweh abinawa yahweh and our savior his uh, uh his salvation okay the uh, salvation of israel the redeemer who yahweh shah and once that once that occurred this whole world was going to be shaken up all right this whole world was going to you know be um um turned upside down. I'm speaking about Esau's Edom, Edom's world. Okay, so the the scriptures is exclusively, you know, for for us to remember who we are. This is why the Lord put the spirit on men to write these scriptures. Okay, uh, uh, you know, the Lord made it possible for multiple thousands of just different manuscripts to be written down and passed down through the ages, you know, from the time of Moses you know, even, you know, to the time that we're in right now so that we could remember ourselves. All right. Actually, let me get this uh, quick pre uh, precept in the book of um, Romans 15 and 4. It says this. It says, for whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. Now, there was plenty of things that are written aforetime. OK, there's plenty of different books in the world. OK, but as the scripture says that what? Um, you know, I get another one too, just rolling in the spirit. Um, book of Isaiah 34, verse uh, 16, it says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Okay, what is the book of the Lord? Okay, the book of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, is what we in today's you know term, uh, terminology reference to as what the Bible, okay, which is the Holy Scriptures. Multiple different books of holy men that were inspired by the Holy Spirit to write these things down, okay, because it was what? Written, these things written aforetime was written for our learning, 
Okay. And the main thing that we were, we were going to learn is what, who we are, you know, and this, in that right there, us learning who we are is through the spirit and is causing everything else, all these trickle effects that you see happening in this world, as we know as prophecy come to pass because the Israelites cannot know who they are. All right. Remember themselves, repent and still stay under this, uh, you know, in, in this destitute, in this, you know, vile body in captivity. All right. Under Esau, Edom's uh, rulership. It's impossible for us to remain under Esau while yet repenting and calling upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and uh, changing our ways. OK, um, um, without the Lord acting upon those things. All right. And that's why it says that we, through patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. So those are the things that were written, all right, aforetime was what? The scriptures. That what? That we might, through patience and comfort of the scriptures. This is why, like I said earlier, that the Holy Spirit, okay, sups with us through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures. Okay, you can't understand the scriptures in its fullness without the Holy Spirit. Okay, and that Holy Spirit is also referred to in the scriptures as what? The comforter. That's why Yahweh Shai said that. Uh, let me get that too. In the book of John 14 and 26, I believe. Let's lock you. St. John chapter 14, verse 26, it says, uh, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Okay. So, and we just read that, what? The scriptures, through our patience and comfort, we might have hope. Okay. So it says through, uh, but the comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the father, Abba Yahweh, Okay, the father of our fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and the God of our fathers, I should say, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, okay, which was uh, passed down through through our, you know, family line, but we had a falling away first, you know, and that falling away was really of our, of our remembrance of who we were, okay, which was prophesied, but it says, whom the father will send in my name, red letter, so the Holy Spirit was sent by the father in the name of Yahweh Shai. So that's another thing you have to understand that you cannot receive, all right, you cannot receive the Holy Spirit unless you are receiving it in the name, the one and only and true name of the Messiah, which is Yahweh Shai, okay? No, no other name is given among men whereby we must be saved. So if you claim that you have the Holy Spirit, but you're not saying, if you're not saying it in the name of Yahweh Shai, then you do not have the Holy Spirit, okay? You have a false spirit upon you. All right, a, a spirit of deception. Okay, it says, He shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance. Wh whatsoever have I told you. So it was important for the disciples, which became apostles, all right, which went out and taught and, uh, uh, you know, brought in more fruit, brought in, you know, the elect, you know, through their teaching and their preaching and so on and so forth. It was important for us to do what? To have things brought into our remembrance which is what this Bible, which is what these scriptures does for the nation of Israel. Once again, this is this script, the, 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 the Holy Scriptures was not set up to give remembrance to anybody else. All right. Uh, uh, first and foremost, I should say, was to give remembrance to Israel. OK. And these other nations, they're hearing these prophecies, you know, they're, they're hearing the, the prophets. But they 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 don't have the spirit of faith, okay? They don't have the the gift of faith, I should say, or and really they don't need. They, there's no there's nothing for them to have faith in, okay? Because they're not children of the Most High, all right? They're not called by His name. They were not surnamed by the Creator of heaven and earth, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, okay? We were, but we forgot that. We fell away from that. We lost that 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 remembrance, but. Because of the scriptures and the Lord has preserved it throughout these throughout all these ages, okay, and sent the, the Holy Spirit in these last days through what the name of Yahweh Shai, we are being put back into our remembrance. And the fact that we're putting back into our remembrance is going to have consequential effects of what? The kingdom coming. Okay. So um I'll go back to this and I'll get into this, you know, the actual scriptures that I had lined up, you know, just uh, you know, bear with me. Like I said. We are rolling through the spirit. It says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. So this is something that the, the prophet Isaiah uh, um, employed Israel to do. Okay. Employed us to do is what? To seek ye out of the book of Yahweh, 
Bashim Yahweh and read. What is the book of Yahweh? It's what? The Holy Scriptures. No one of these shall fail. What, uh, what are these that he's talking about that's not going to fail? The prophecies. Okay? These prophecies are not going to fail. And what is one of the main prophecies? Of us remembering ourselves. Of us thinking upon the name of the Lord. Of us coming back to Yahweh through his son Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, having faith. Okay? And, and, and that that first, you know, that that army, okay, us getting that breath of life in us is why you're seeing all hell breaking loose in this world. Is why you're seeing the the mark of the beast, okay, uh, 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 being you know spoken about more and more, being you know uh, pushed more and more. Which is why you're seeing all these uh, draconian laws, Esau, you know, uh, uh, taking away civil civil liberties because he's coming down with that great wrath because he knows he has but a short time. Why does Esau know he, he has a short time? It's because Israel is remembering themselves. And the way they remember themselves is through the what? The book of remembrance. Okay? But this book of remembrance is only can only be decoded, I should say. You could say that. can only be decoded by the prophets. All right? Because this book has been out there. Hey, Esau used the book to, to, to uh, uh, you know, blind Israel. Okay? Esau used the book to push his... his White supremacy, and that's why you have a lot of Israelites, okay, that say that the book, the the book, uh, the Bible is a white man's book, but really, it's the devil just used it to deceive our people. The book itself is still pure. The book itself is still holy, but you had this devil take hold of it and and deceive our people, just like how you have false prophets, false teachers do the same thing right now. All right, but what is happening is that the true prophets, the true men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have taken hold of the book through the Holy Spirit, okay, and now is putting back the remembrance of who we are in this world, man, okay, and the ones who are meant to get it, the ones who are meant to remember is what, is remembering, is waking up, so it says, none of these shall fail and none shall want her mate, for my mouth have commanded it and his spirit, it has gathered them, you see, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has gathered them. And what did Yahweh Shai say? He said, Lo, he comes in a volume of the book. Uh, Psalms chapter 47, verse 10. First, Salakia, Psalm chapter 40, verse 7. It says, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me. Okay? And this is why Yahweh Shai said, What? I will be with you always, even until the end of the world. Because this book. <laughs> is with us at this very moment. Okay, the, in the Lord, Yahweh Shai, his, his spirit is encompassed in this book. Okay, that's why Yahweh Shai said in a book of Revelation, and once again, you know, I know I'm going in a whole bunch of different ones, but, you know, just hopefully it's edifying. The Lord, Yahweh Shai said this, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. Now, is Yahweh Shai actually at, 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 at each other, each brother and sister's door knocking on it and you open the door and you won't see Yahweh Shai? No. Okay, Yahweh Shai is speaking parabolically, you know, by way of what? The, the, the Holy Spirit in the scriptures. Okay, because the Holy Spirit, all right, Yahweh Shai is coming to us through the Holy Spirit. All right, which is what? The Spirit, as we just read in Isaiah, the 34th chapter, his Spirit has gathered them. And how we gathered? Through the book of remembrance. Which is Yahweh Shai comes in, in the volume of the book. It is written of him from the beginning to the end. It's all written about, it's all about Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and the Israelites. Okay, us falling away, us having the covenants, us falling away, us going through slavery, us being scattered, us uh, not forgetting ourselves, and then at the end, the remnant remembering themselves. And this was all written about in the book. And this was all going to be through Yahweh Shai because. Yahweh Shai was what? The first and last Adam, as the scripture tells you. Okay? So now from there, keep this up. Let's go back to the to the scripture right here. In the book of uh, Mike, Mal Malachi, chapter 3, verse uh, 15. It says, And now we call the proud happy. Yeah, they that work wickedness are set up. Yeah, they that tempt the most high are even delivered. And, and you've seen, you know, as we... 
are in this age of Esau, in this age of wicked, it seems as though that the ones who are proud, the ones who are lofty, the ones who are haughty, the ones who commit iniquity and have no shame, that they're in a, in a happy state, right? They're, they've been living life. They've been partying, BS, and having a grand old time, okay? And the ones who us are now in remembrance, the ones who us who have, you know, uh, uh, left off the old man and, and you know, became that, became that uh, uh, dry bone that lived, we're seeing all these proud people. We're seeing all these wicked people. They're living happy. They're looking as if they're set up. They, they, the ones that tempt the most high are even delivered. Meaning what? That, that they are not even seeming as though being uh, uh, tested or trialed or chastised. Okay, they're not going through any straits. But as time goes on and as we are entering right now, we're seeing that all starting to be taken away from them because the ones <laughs> who the Lord really loves, the ones who the Lord is really dealing with. They're waking up, okay, more and more. This is why it's it's imperative for the ones, as Yahweh Shai said, the harvest is great, but the laborers are few, all right? Pray that the Lord of the harvest uh, uh, brings in more, more more laborers, you know, not verbatim, but what as that is happening, you are having now these prophecies coming to pass, and the main prophecy is what the raft of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai on this earth and upon the wicked, the visitation of the Lord. So, yeah, we might have seen that the, that the proud was happy and that the wicked were set up. But as time is going on and as as this book of remembrance is, you know, reaching its uh, a peak, you know, reaching all the ears that of the elect that the remnant that needs to hear it, subs uh, you know, uh, 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 not subsequently, um, uh, correspondingly, you having this the this world being destroyed, the Lord visiting this world with plagues, with famines, with pestilence. All right. With, uh, uh, you know, uh, the love of many waxing cold with war. You see us, the Israelites remembering themselves is causing this world to decay, to decrease, because this is not our world. This is not our rest. All right. As Paul said, what here we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. And in order for that continuing city, the everlasting, that perpetual place for the elect of Israel and then ultimately the whole house of Israel to come into fruition on earth as it is in heaven, what, happen, what has to happen to this age? What, have, what has to happen to this kingdom? This kingdom has to go down. It has to fall. It has to be destroyed. All right. So verse 16, it says, then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another. And this is what we're doing. All right. This is what the, the disciples did by way of the, the epistles. OK, the, the letters that we read. But now we have because of technology, as the scripture tells us in Daniel, that knowledge will increase. We're not actually writing letters. We're speaking letters, so to speak. All right. <laughs> these these uh, videos are epistles in modern day term. OK, modern day uh, technology has made the writing turn into, you know, voice. You even have it, you know, on an actual phone now. People don't really text no more. They do voice notes. You see? So this is us often. It says, then, that, then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, which is who? The prophets. Okay? First and foremost, and then you got the believers as well. But the prophets were speaking often one to another and into the sheep by way of these lessons. And the, and the Lord hearkened. So now the Lord is hearing this because as, as much as many times... That the prophets are prophesying, the 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 uh, sheep are being fed, more people are waking up. It's all what is going to happen when you wake up. What what happens? You know, what, what are we all doing now? We're all complaining. We're all crying out unto the Lord. Why? Because we're remembering this is not our rest. We're remembering where we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to be, how we're supposed to uh, you know how we're supposed to live, and the Lord is hearing that. Remember. Let me get this scripture real quick. Uh, Isaiah 59, I believe it is. Isaiah 59, verse 1. Behold, Yahweh's hand is not shortened that he cannot save. Neither is his ear heavy that he cannot hear. You see? So it wasn't the fact that the Lord couldn't hear us. It, it was because we didn't remember who we are. We weren't crying out to him. Okay? We weren't crying out to the Lord. So it's not like the, the Lord was deaf. It's just that. Because we didn't know who we were, we weren't crying out properly unto our Father. All right, we were calling on God and Jehovah and Jesus. All right, and and Je and, and Jesus Christos, all these other names that does you know that was perpetuated and pushed out into the world. But 
you're supposed to call upon your father and, and through his son. And in order to do that, you would have to have what? The remembrance of who he was in the remembrance of who you are. You see, a, a, an Israelite, a true Israelite, an Israelite indeed, as Yahweh shall I call Nathan, a Nathaniel, he's not going to call on Jesus Christ. Okay? That's why we always get on IUIC. All right? Because, yeah, they might know that they're Israelites, but Israelites indeed, all right, the Israel of the Most High is not going to call upon Jesus Christ. You're going to remember <laughs> through the book of remembrance who your savior is because it was what foreknowledge all right it was predestined it was we the as Yahweh Shai said what that they uh uh you know they was with me even from the beginning so if you were we if the elect was with Yahweh Shai from even from the beginning then you should know his name and this is why you have such uh, such strong conviction amongst the true believers all right of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai of that name because we know that name from the beginning. It's not like we we did, yeah, we just learned it, so to speak, here, but it wasn't really something that we we already knew it. Okay, it was refreshed, all right, kainos, which means uh when you see the word when Yahweh Shah said, Behold, I make all things new, the word new is kainos, which means refreshed. So that name was refreshed in our remembrance. We know, we know when somebody says, Yo, uh, refresh my memory, you know, refresh my memory. You already had that memory stored in you. You just needed it to be refreshed. And this is what the book of remembrance did for us. Going on, it says, And the Lord hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord Yahweh and that thought upon his name. Whew, see? So this book of remembrance was written for who? For us, man. This Bible was exclusively written for the hopeful elect. No, nobody else. The ones that feared Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because even two thirds don't even fear the Lord right now, which is why they're going to die the death of the heathen, of a heathen, because they don't fear the Lord and they're not thinking upon His name. All right, you know, in sincerity and in truth. So there, so this book of remembrance, this Bible, which is why it, it you know, in a lot of these so-called Christian households, which a lot of our people are, you know, into, this Bible collects dust, man. And these people don't understand the dark sayings and the parables and the breakdowns and the prophecies of the Bible because it wasn't written for them to uh, for them to use properly to what remember remembrance who they are. Let's let's see what this word remembrance is. I know because to remember is a car, which goes into being a man. All right, uh, the car, the car run, the car, uh, Rowan. I think that is Zakar Rawan or Zakar Wan. I think is that Zakar Wan. So it says memorial reminder. Okay, a reminder. When you go into the word memorial, that's where you get the word Zion. All right, or in the Hebrew to Zion, which means a memorial or a monument. All right, remembrance, memory, remembrance. This is what this book is doing for us a moment a memento you see when you look going to the word memento somebody writes something down like on a notepad you know on a on a uh, sticky note that's a memento we write it down on your refrigerator uh get milk you know make sure uh, get milk today that's a memento so to you to remind yourself well this is what these scriptures is man <laughs> the old testament new testament and even the apocrypha this is what all this is. This is what a memento or a reminder to the elect of Israel in these last days to remember themselves and to do what? And to think, to fear the Lord, remember, and to and them that thought upon his name. And you know, when you go read into the scriptures, when Israel called upon the name of Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, things happened. The Lord moved. Okay. Things started to to, the Lord started to uh, bring deliverance. This is why this devil did not want us to remember who we are, man. This is why he spent so much time, energy, effort, blood, bones, uh, witchcraft, sorcery, okay, deception. He did all this because he did not want Israel to remember themselves. He know he couldn't take away. He couldn't take away the book. 
even though you did have the Bible destruction group, but they couldn't do it because ultimately this was the Lord's doing. As the scriptures tells you that what? The Lord dealeth in the kingdoms of men. So what Esau could only do, the, or the furthest the Lord let Esau go, was to destroy our remembrance. He couldn't destroy the book of remembrance, but he tried to destroy our minds, our remembrance of the book of remembrance. But as I said earlier, the Lord still yet had mercy on Jacob and yet chose Israel. And that's where the remnant came, in, came into play. See, this devil, he couldn't get the remnant. He couldn't get the elect. He tried to. Yahweh Shah said, if it were possible, you would even deceive the rev the elect. But you can't. You couldn't. Okay? Jeremiah 17, verse 4, it says, And thou even thyself shall discontinue. This meaning not and continue, obviously, to continue. So not continue from thy heritage that I gave thee. Our heritage, our land, our culture, our customs, our laws, our name who we were, our ethnicity, we were going to not continue in those things. And the main way to do that is what? Your remembrance. You won't be reminded of that, that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in mine anger which shall burn forever. And I word forever here is uh, means, uh, I think it's Iwalam, which is a long period of time. Yeah, all right, Iwalam. You know, and I won't get into that, but you just look at it here. It's I'd, I'd here, which is as far or space of time, even to until, and then you got I will am, means a period of time. So it's not talking about forever and ever because we know that the Lord was going to restore our our remembrance, which we have right now. And with that, with him restoring our remembrance, he was going to restore our heritage. But that falling away came, which the prophets, the elders, the, the 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 men, the great men of the Lord in the ancient world, coming back, they all. That's why the that's why Jeremiah was told here that he even he was going to discontinue from his heritage. But we had this book of remembrance to do what? Let's get that. This is Second uh, Peter chapter three verse one. This second epistle, this letter, this memento, right? That that Peter wrote to the churches that were scattered abroad. Be, uh, beloved, I now write unto you in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. You see? So this is why these letters and what the scriptures are, are com a, a, a com compilation, all right, of books and, 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 you know, letters, so to speak. All right. All these things were written for our learning so that we can what? Have our pure minds through the Holy Spirit, right? Dealing with us. The foreknowledge of the Most High, the elect will have the foreknowledge of the Most High for us to what? Remember, have remembrance. And with that remembrance, we started to do what? Think upon the Lord and call upon his name and complain. And the Lord, like I said before, every time Israel complained unto the Heavenly Father, Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, through the Holy Spirit, the Lord had to act, man. The Lord had to move. Just like any father with their child complaining, what is, what are you going to do when your child can continually complain? You're going to you're going to eventually act, man. Even even if you're mad at him, you're going to eventually act. Luke chapter eight verse six. And the Lord said, "Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not the Most High avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him, though he bear long with them?" Okay. So if an unjust judge did this, what is the what is the righteous judge going to do? Let's see this. Listen, LNT, N Salaki, NLT, our New Living Translation it says, even he rendered a just decision into the end. In the end, talking about that unjust judge, he rendered a just decision in the end. So don't you think the Most High will surely give justice to his chosen people? Who are the chosen people? The Israelites. And the chosen amongst the chosen are the elect, the ones who this book of remembrance was written for, and the ones that the, the, the that are using this book of remembrance to remind themselves. Okay? Understand that there are certain men, prophets out here that are Michael, that are Salaki, that are Malachi, that are Jeremiah, that are Daniel, that are Paul, uh, Paul Peter, John, Luke, all right, uh, uh, Isaiah. They wrote these things down. So that in the latter days, they could remember themselves. And that was through the Holy Spirit. Okay? And not just them, but the elect, all you know, the ones who believed through their words. 
So it says, so don't you think that the Most High will surely give justice to his chosen people who cry out to him day and night? Will he keep putting them off? Is the Most High going to keep putting us off if we're constantly complaining unto him? If we're constantly asking him to deliver us? If we're constantly telling him we're sorry that we, we acknowledge our faults, that we acknowledge our, our error of our ways? That we want to worship him, that we want to serve him in righteousness and in truth, that we want to make uh, be be a memorial of uh, for him on the earth, that we want to glorify him through our actions, through our life. You think the Most High, the Heavenly Father, the righteous power, his he's going to just keep neglecting his children? No, because we now remember, and this is the thing that is scaring this devil the most, man. This is why he's going to shut down the internet. This is why he's going to start start coming after the the, the men and women that believe. Because he knows that once the chosen people start crying out properly, okay, properly, in sincerity and in truth, as Yahweh shall say, he that must that worship the most high must worship him in sincerity and in truth. You can't have one without the other. You can't worship the whole most high in, in sincere, but not truthful. Because if you were sincere, you're going to seek the correct truth. And you can't worship him having the truth, knowing the truth, but not sincerely. He has to be sincere and in truth. You think the Most High is going to keep putting us off, man? Let's see what Yahweh Shah say. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Okay? Speedily. He's going to avenge us, man. And where are we going to get the number one revenge from? <laughs> Our adversaries. The ones that caused us to forget. All right? Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on earth? Because those people that, are, that do remember, it's a small sanctuary amongst all the millions of billions of israelites all right and then all the people in general in the world but specifically talking about the chosen people it's going to be a small remnant compared to all of israel that should be having faith all right because once again the book of remembrance in this time was only written for the elect okay so that's when we go here and i mentioned before the people these people that cause us to forget who we were those are our enemies right um Isaiah, uh, in Psalm chapter 83, verse 1, keep not thou silence, O power, hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power, for lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, okay, so remember, going back to what we just read in Luke, it says what, he will avenge them speedily, who is he going to avenge them on, he's going to avenge his, their, uh, avenge his elect, by way of destroying, putting down his enemies, the, 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 the chosen's enemies. And the chosen's enemies are the Heavenly Father's enemies. <laughs> okay? And you read about it in this in this chapter. It says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up this, thy head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people. The same ones we just read in uh, Luke. The chosen people taking a crafty counsel. What was that crafty counsel? They couldn't, once again, they couldn't destroy the book, okay? Because the book was sent from, from, it was ordained from heaven, okay? So they couldn't destroy the book. Yahweh Shai did what? He loosened the seals thereof of that book. And this devil did not have the power, Esau and Satan, that that, that, that energy that Esau gets his, 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 uh, his power from, they didn't have the power to destroy the book. So what did he have to do? They had to take crafty counsel. Their crafty counsel was what? We can still have the book here, but let's 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 destroy the people of the book and let's let's uh, uh, con construct a way that they don't remember that they're the people of the book. Because if they don't remember that they're the people of the book, then then they can never call upon their power. They can never acknowledge their faults properly. They can never acknowledge who they are. This is the crafty counsel that was taken. It says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. They have consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come, let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel, Yasharala, may no more be in remembrance. You see, that's what they did. But grace and mercy and power, all right, be unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, because we still got the book of remembrance, man. <laughs> we still got the book of remembrance. So, yes, we did get cut off. We did forget, but because we have that book that was still here, and even to this day, in 2020, there was still hope. There was still a, 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 a way for us to remember, and that's the Lord's mercy right there. 
because now we do remember. And now Israel, because Israel could never actually be cut off from being a nation. Our remembrance was cut off, but Israel could not actually be cut off from being a nation when you read in the book of Jeremiah, the 31st chapter. All right. But they took that crafty counsel to try to cut off our remembrance from being who we were. But the elect have obtained it. Okay. The elect have obtained it. As we, as we, as Paul said, uh, um, let's get that. Paul said in the book of Romans, the 11th chapter, what then Israel have not obtained, which he seek it for. What did, what does Israel seek for? Remembrance. They seeking for remembrance. They're seeking for who they are. They're seeking for the truth. They're seeking for what is the meaning of, of, of our persecution. Why are we always getting killed? Why are we still in 2020 speaking about equality and, 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 and being, you know, uh, viewed as a human being? Why are we still got this plate of, of, of stress and, and destruction? Why is our, our people so distraught? They don't want the answers. They're trying to seek the cause for that. But what? But the election have obtained it. Why? Because of the book of remembrance. And the rest were blinded because this book wasn't meant for the rest in this day and age. And in the kingdom, you're not even going to need the book because everything's going to be written in you. You know, but this book was written for the elect to remember. And we are remembering and we are complaining. And our father is going to hear us. He's going to hearken. And he's going to fuck you devils up, man. And you heathens, man. And he's going to destroy your kingdom. Okay. And he's going to send back his son. You can't do nothing about it, man. You cannot do anything about that. Okay, this is uh, the book of Baruch, chapter two, verse twenty-nine. And ye, if ye will, if ye will not hear my voice through what, through the book of remembrance, through the, through the prophets, all right, through the Holy Spirit, through Yahweh Shai, surely this very great multitude shall be turned into a small number amongst the nations where I have scattered them. Okay, which is a part of the curses. We were scattered. Throughout the four corners of the earth, which is why you have Israelites speaking in other languages, looking like these other nations, but they're still remembering themselves. And that right there lets you know that this is a divine, supernatural, spiritual thing, because you got Israelites all across the world that are remembering who they are, because it was prophesied, because of the book of remembrance. It says, for I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people, but in the land of their captivities, captivities... They shall remember themselves. And how do we remember ourselves? Through the book of remembrance. Okay? Because we are what? Speaking often one to another. Because we fear the Lord and we are thinking upon his name. So in the land of our captivities, which is a latter day prophecy, all right? An end time prophecy, they shall remember themselves. A reminder of themselves. And they shall know that I am Yahweh, their power. How are we knowing that? Because we remembered ourselves, which this devil tried to stop us from doing. He tried to cut us off from remembrance. Like how Simba, how uh, Mufasa told Simba, right? You have forgotten yourself. No, he said, you have forgotten me. And Simba said, no, I couldn't. How could I? And, and Mufasa said, you have forgotten who you are. Therefore, you have forgotten me. That, that Lion King was spiritual, man, because I was speaking about Israel. Okay, if you got eyes to see, ears to hear, spiritual, you know, uh, uh, faculty, you know that that was speaking about Israel. We've forgotten who we are because we've forgotten the Most High. But in the land of their captivity, we remembered them. We remembered ourselves, and once we remembered ourselves, we remembered who our Father was, and we knew what we needed to do in order to get our Father to hear us and to redeem us and to avenge us. And that is why this devil knows he has a short time. It says, "In shall." And shall know that I am the Lord, their power, Yahweh, their power. For I will give them a heart and ears to hear. Hear what? The book of remembrance. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity, which we're doing, and think upon my name. I am. He is. And we know that he is able and willing and will and capable to do what? Save, to, solve, to, to bring us salvation, to destroy, to take down our enemies. Okay. It says, in return from their stiff neck. Yeah, because when we didn't know who we were, we didn't know we were stiff neck. We didn't know that we were going off. We didn't, we were just living uh, lasciviousness. We were living heathenistic. And from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the ways of their fathers which sinned before the Lord. And that's what we did, man. We were remembering the ways of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We were remembering the ways of, 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 
the times that we were in, in Israel, the time of the house of David, the time of the Solomon's rulership, Josiah, Hezekiah. Okay. Remembering all those things, man. And, and they, and we, and, and which sinned before the Lord and the whole house of Israel did sin. This is why Israel fell. But we have mercy and we have forgiveness and remission of sins through who? Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, the Lord and Savior, man, through his blood. And that is how we're going to get restored back into our proper place. Okay? And by us remembering who we are is bringing in the remembrance of Babylon to the Lord, man. Revelation 16, verse 9. This is 16, verse 19. And there in the great city was divided into three parts and the cities of that nation of the nations fell and great Babylon came in remembrance before the most high to give unto her the cup of the wine of her of the fierceness of his wrath. See us remembering is bringing is stirring up the Lord's remembrance. Well, he already remembers, but you know, metaphorically speaking, is stirring up his remembrance to do what to bring the judgment upon Babylon, man. To bring the judgment upon this place. You see? And that's why all hell is about to break loose here. Because as often as we keep speaking one to another, we keep bringing up the book of remembrance, stirring up the pure minds of the elect, having the election taint, obtain it, them crying day and night into the Father. What happens? This place got to go. This age has to go. Because this is not our age. This is not our kingdom. This is not Yahweh Shai's kingdom. Okay? And this is why they were waiting. This is why that this is why the angels rejoice when one repented. Because they're like and they're and they're saying, What? One more remembered. One more remembered. And all they gotta get to that, that's that that special number that we have longed for, that 144,000. Once that 144,000 remembers, we're out of here, man. Okay, we're gone. It's over. <laughs> it is done. All right, and I ended out with this. Second Ezra 15. Verse 7, therefore, thus saith the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in, the, in those things, which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Why are we, comp why are we able to complain continually? Because now we remember because of the book of remembrance, and we're complaining continually. This is us complaining. Us sighing and crying for the abominations here. Us speaking one to another, all right, daily, all right, about about the, the law, statute, commandments, about the faith of Yahweh Shai, about this book, about our heritage, about everything that encompasses the spirit of Yahweh Shai, prophecy, that is us complaining, us asking, literally asking the Lord to speed up the days, to get us out of here, to redeem us, to, to deliver us, to, to show his power on this place, to glorify himself, glorify his son, Okay, which when then we would get joint glory, joint rulership with the Lord. All that is the Lord. All of that is us complaining to the Lord, man, because we remember. It says, and therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them. Going back to what is said in the book of Luke, uh, the 18th chapter. And receive unto me all the righteous blood from among them. Okay. So the Lord is going to revenge us, man. And mainly it's because we remembered because of the book of remembrance, the book of the of reminder. We are reminded of who we are, man. All right. And the elect, the remnant have obtained that. And that's why the scripture says, told you, do the whole fast which thou hast. Keep that memory in your head, man. Keep that reminder. Keep that memento in your head. Don't let anybody take that crown, man. All right. Don't don't let them don't let them make you forget. All right. Understand it's a gift that the Lord gave you remembrance. So you got to use it and you got to complain and you got to speak often one to another, man. So, you know, Lord willing, this was edifying unto the elect, all right? The ones who remember, the ones who heard it and, 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 and acknowledge the book of remembrance as their book, you know, hold fast, man. We almost out of here, man. Our Lord, our Father, Abba Nawi Yahweh, through his son Yahweh Shai, is going to avenge us, man. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom.